We're going to sing a song that we really shouldn't be singing. It's a song that Boris Johnson has sung many times. Many of the 19 other British Prime Ministers who went to the same school he did have sung it many times as well. That's almost a third of all the British or UK Prime Ministers. The Eton School Song, not the boat song, but the school song, is basically the anthem of the patriarchy. Not anyone can sing the Eton School Song. It's not our song in the sense that we don't have the right to sing it. We don't have the right to sing it because our families don't have well-established connections with the aristocracy, with big business, with finance, or with any other powerful institutions, like the law courts or the government. We don't have the right to sing it because it's in Latin. And we probably didn't have access to that at school. Or if we did, we had to be in the top band, whatever that means. We don't have the right to sing it because we're not exclusively male. We don't have the right to sing it because our parents couldn't stump up the £42,500 per annum that it currently costs to send a son there. We don't have the right because our parents didn't know who to ask to find out how to apply for scholarships, or because it would never have occurred to our parents that they even had the right to ask. And of course, we don't have the right to sing it because we utterly oppose and reject the premise and the meaning of the song, that this tiny elite continue to rule as it has always done. For all commoners everywhere, we give you the Eton School Song, in Latin, Carmen et Onensi. <laughs> <laughs>